Well, he's he stuffed the stat sheet. Um, wow, almost a quadruple double. But uh, I mean, obviously, James is is a brilliant basketball player, and we got to incorporate him, and find a way to make this thing gel, and put him in a position to do what he does, and for him to make each of our guys better. Um, but he, you know, got to the line 15 times. He made threes, you know, 12 rebounds, 14 assists, four steals. Um, you know, he's we know what he is. He's he's a a world-class basketball player. So uh, we'll continue to build and get better and uh, try to figure this out where everyone is, uh, you know, a threat and we make each other better. Michael Grady with Yes Network. And Coach, in what ways did James exceed your expectations in a debut? Well, I just think, you know, he, he he's had a obviously a very strange start to the season, stop-start year. He's not in, best, in his best condition yet. Um, so for him to do as many things as he did on the basketball floor tonight was uh, was incredible, and um, you know it's great to get one under his belt, and for him to kind of you know feel uh, his teammates in the building, and um, and we'll just keep building. But he was you know incredible for for a guy who, like I said, is, is just trying to get himself in shape. And the guys you know around him, and guys making plays, Bruce Brown, the, the big three late. You know, there's a lot going to be a lot of talk about. You know Kyrie, Kevin, and James, but you know how important are those are those other guys on the roster? Well, you know it can't just be, you know, uh, your top guy, your top two, your top three guys. You know you gotta play team basketball. Everyone's got to be a threat. Everyone's got to play their role, know their role, and so those are things we have to figure out. But uh, you know I thought I was exceptional tonight. You know, you know Joe played well, Bruce played well. You know Jeff gave us some important veteran experience and you, know, you go down the line and guys contributed so it was uh you know i think a a game that could have gone the other way you know we we were you know we we it took us a while to find it and to to pull away but um you know it wasn't clean at all it, it wasn't easy and but you know that's a tribute to their team and uh but we got a lot to to build on brian lewis with the new york post Hey, Steve, it's obvious uh, it's only one game, a uh, short sample size. But, I mean, when James says, well, you know, I'm going to facilitate and I'm going to pass and I'm going to make my teammates better and do all those things, um, is it different from saying it's actually going out and doing it? How encouraging was it for you to see the way he threaded passes, the way he rebounded, the way he did all of those things that he was saying he was going to yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. We, we've had a pretty big sample size of him doing that uh, the last six to whatever however many years he's been in the league. But um, it's still, it's not easy. You know, like we said, he's not in his best condition yet. Uh, he's joined a new group, um, you know, with basically no practice time and figured it out on the fly. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, he had a bunch of turnovers tonight that are just because he's new to the, the team and group, and you're thrown out there in an NBA game where the other team's an excellent coach basketball team, and they're going to scheme, and they're going to make it difficult. And so those types of things are, are, are normal. But all the things he did accomplish on the floor were incredible for his first evening. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Steve, I have two for you. First, when you were watching from the sidelines, could you see, oh, yes, I see how Kyrie's going to fit in here. Boom, it's going to be easy. Or were you looking at it saying, okay, maybe there's some things that we're going to have to grow and adjust to to fit him in here too? I think we're going to have to continually find how it all works to its best level to the most effective and efficient standard. But, you know, like throwing Kyrie in the mix makes us better. It, you know, it's, it's not a, it's a good problem to have trying to figure out you know what? Where they can coexist to the to their highest level and standard. So I think it takes time. I think um, it's going to be an adjustment for everyone, but it's an incredible problem to have and something that I think we'll relish uh, trying to decipher. And secondly, there is a, a moment where you know Kevin kicks out to to Bruce Brown. You have James Harden all smiles. Was this? I mean. Where did this rank in terms of fun that you've had coaching a game this year? Because it sure looked like the players were enjoying themselves. Yeah, I think everyone was excited. You know, it's obviously you bring a player of, of James' caliber and his excitement to be here, and everyone was excited. And you know, it's been a it's been a fun few days. I mean, as far as 
Uh, the performance, uh, gosh, my head is spinning. Who did we play three nights ago, no, three, three games ago at home? A, a very good team. Uh, Denver? We played Denver. That was a fun evening. We played in New York and had a, an excellent short staff game where guys moved the ball, played together, and then tonight again, you know, found a way to win. Um, so we, it's been a, you know, uh, a fun few games for us, and we needed them. We need to build. We need some positive energy because, you know, we've had uh, some difficult times this year as well. And uh, but tonight was really fun, and uh, happy to see the guys enjoying what they do. Ian Begley with SNY. <laughs> it's Steve. Just I guess over the last couple of days, and then moving forward, how much do you lean on, or will you lean on Mike D'Antoni in terms of? Uh, getting to know James's game and how best to implement him. Well, I think it's you know an invaluable resource. I think it'd be silly not to to really you know lean on Mike for all of his uh, experience with James and their familiarity and and how and what James likes and how he works best. So you know those are conversations that I'll have with James, but we'll all have as a group and a staff. And Mike, obviously, with his insight and his relationship with James, is invaluable.